So, some say that the solar titan is dead and that Strand is about to eclipse it. Not on my watch. This is what we are going to be running for today's titan build. We are back on the solar titan and we're going to bring it back from the ashes and make this solar titan just rain again. From one melee, we're creating orbs of power, infinity fire sprites, crazy melee damage. We're going to be proccing volatile rounds because we're going to be using a void weapon we can debuff everything we're going to be using the tractor cannon this is just an all-out onslaught simultaneously having restoration with infinity sunspots solar titan is back and it's better than ever guys so let's get straight to the aspects the first aspect we're going to be using is roaring flames final blows with a solar ability or ignitions increase the damage of your solar abilities this stacks up to three times we're going to be taking advantage of some artifact mods as well that will make this build absolutely insane and we're going to be using soul invictors for the ultimate survivability solar ability final blows and defeating scorched targets create sunspots our abilities regenerate faster and while we're in a sunspot we also have restoration Sunspots apply scorch and deal damage to targets inside it. Enter at your own risk as far as I'm concerned. So now that we've covered the aspects, we'll go over to the fragments. Ember of Searing, defeating scorch targets, grants melee energy and creates fire sprite. So pretty much on every kill that we get with our hammer, with it being the bonk build, we're going to create fire sprites. These will regenerate our melee energy as well, but with the whole build the way that we're putting it together with some of the mods i'll show you at the end we will never be without our hammer ember of ashes we apply more scorch stacks to targets ember of char our solar ignition spread scorch to other targets and lastly ember of torches powered melee attacks against enemies make us radiant giving our weapons a nice damage buff so with it being a, a titan hammer build we're constantly having the radiant buff active at all times it wouldn't be a pure immortal titan build without having some insane damage output with our melees so i present to you the sinful seps the old faithful increased melee lunge range improved melee and super damage when we are surrounded so when we are surrounded by three or more enemies we gain a massive 200 percent damage buff with our baby hammer and also with our super it gives us a 50 percent increase so i'll show you what we are running from the artifact just so you can get a glimpse of just the power behind this immortal titan build so we have volatile flow active picking up an orb of power grants our void weapons volatile rounds for 10 seconds we have solar surge collecting a fire sprite gives us an armor charge and we'll go over what we're going to be doing with them later in the customization screen we have flared up firebolt grenades apply more scorch stacks damaging a combatant with a firebolt grenade spawns a fire sprite near them so you don't even need to kill them this is why we're saying it's infinity fire sprites building back into our melee energy and our grenade energy and it's a full loop of ability spam as well as taking advantage of the sinful seps bricks of beyond defeating a powerful combatant with a void weapon has a chance to generate heavy ammo this build is absolutely perfect with any void weapon that has adrenaline junkie this weapon gains increased damage and handling from final blows with grenades. So we'll start from the helmet. We've got two hands-on mods, four extra super energy from melee kills. This will enable us to get our super back fast as fuck because all we're doing at this point is just decimating everything with our hammer and sinful seps. Then we have Void Siphon, Rapid Void Weapon Final Blows creating Orb of Power. As soon as we pick that up, we have Volatile Flow. We have Heavy Handed, another way to create Orbs of Power to take advantage of Volatile Flow. So Powered Melee Final Blows create Orbs of Power. Then we have Impact Induction causing damage with a melee attack reduces our grenade cooldown. And then we have Firepower 
grenade final blows create orbs of power as well so we have three perfect ways uh, to make orbs of power we are leaning into getting our grenades back quickly with impact induction nextly on the chest we have emergency reinforcements so before when i was telling you about the mod when we pick up a fire sprite we get an armor charge so this is where we lean more into the survivability we have restoration with our sunspots but also when our shields are depleted we get a temporary damage reduction with emergency reinforcements and we have charged up increases the maximum number of stacks of armor charge we can carry so now pairing charged up with stacks on stacks we can carry a total of four armor charges and it's really really easy to get four armor charges with infinity five sprites nextly we're taking advantage of our void weapons with void surge and we've got recuperation replenishes health every time we pick up an orb of power restoration with our sunspots emergency reinforcements and recuperation we're constantly making orbs of power with everything so we have pretty much unlimited healing this is why this is called the immortal titan build lastly on the sweat towel we've got proximity ward when we do a finisher we get an overshield for free we have one bomber mod on there when we use our barricade we get grenade energy and whenever we come to them times where we totally whiff our throwing hammer when you get a finisher kill you're going to refresh your entire melee with one two finisher so with us always having four stacks of armor charge this is really really simple to prop guys so that's the entire build guys i hope you like this one i'm cream slice peace